All right, Rosalind, nice work here at the uh, 2022 Royal Victoria Marathon. Thanks so much. So you won in about 2.46 uh, unofficially and your personal best was 2.50, so that's yeah. a nice improvement. Yeah, I was hoping to run faster last time, so it's a nice consolation. <laughs> in the heat as well, so uh, must have felt, must, the last half must have felt pretty hot. Yeah, I was expecting warmer, so it actually wasn't too bad, but uh, BMO prepared me well, and the summer training prepared me well, so. Who are you training with? Uh, actually, I'm so training with Vanguard Athletics. Yeah, My coach is Josh Seifard. What was the course like? Was it challenging for you? Um, it was very rolling, but not too bad. Um, I've run BMO a couple of times, and there's a couple of massive hills. And I train on a loop that's got some hills. So I was hopefully hoping to be prepared, and I think it, it prepared me well. How was it like uh, being cheered on by the people on the course? Oh, it was so nice. and such a beautiful day. So many people out. And then the lead biker guy was telling them all my name. So that <laughs> really improved my motivation, because I was running alone for quite a bit at the end there, so it was nice to have that. That was a pretty challenging. I mean, uh, it, uh, the, the male was by himself, but the women were, uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a real race out there. Yeah, I, I was right behind Andrea for like till 26, and then we turned that corner, and I took the lead. I was wondering when she was going to catch up to me, but I just didn't look back. Andrea's the previous winner, so. Yeah, she's a good competitor, so. Yeah, I mean, it's all friendly, so. Okay, so uh, what kind of volume are you training to improve three minutes in the heat? Uh, I'm actually a resident doctor, so I have a pretty busy work schedule. So I got up to about 100, just over 100K a week, but it's tough to fit it in when you're getting up at 5 a.m. Well, so when you get up to 100 miles a week, you're going to run in the 230. Yeah, let's hope. One day. One day. Where are you a doctor at? Uh, I'm at Children's Hospital. Yeah. You've run 246 here and you've won it. So going through the finish line, what are you thinking about your next uh, big event? Yeah, I mean, I have my eye on 245. Houston's a fast course. Um, I might do the half there, though, so we'll see. And then next fall, I hope to do a big race, maybe Toronto, so we'll see. How do you juggle being a doctor and running like you do? It's challenging, but I think it's like everything in life is a marathon, so like my medical school training was like a marathon, and so it really helps with the mental side of things. Um, it is challenging, though, um, but I have a good group to train with, so they keep me very motivated. <laughs> well, nice work here. Good luck in Houston, whatever you do there. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs>